After uh, merit selection of our state court judges, same-day voter registration, and a plethora of proposals that the governor has just delivered, I really couldn't say anything more than a few words. <laughs> Other than to thank all of you, I remember in my career here in Albany in 1991, when we started a task force on reform in the Senate Democratic Caucus. And this is when I first came to meet a lot of you and uh, to come to meetings that were a lot smaller than this and there were never any lights on. <laughs> it was very difficult to get media participation in, in reform issues. And I'm saying as late as 2003, when I became the minority leader of the Senate, we had a conference in which a couple of uh, senators got up and uh, just said that these were not the issues that the public cared about that the public cares about health care and taxation and education. But what we were always trying to do, and I think what you have done so successfully, is to get the public to recognize that these are the prerequisites to the substantive discussions that we should be having in all that. So I remember in early October of 2004, when the issue of reform of government became one of the top three issues to New York State voters, according to Quinnipiac Marist poll. And then I want to tell you, if you thought that Nor'easter was bad last week, <laughs> you could have been killed standing in front of the LCA room with all of the people coming down to talk about reform yeah. and their new reform proposals and all these great things they want to do. Now, you know, it's interesting to be in government for 31 years and then come out with a press release for term limits. <laughs> <laughs> Physician, heal thyself. <laughs> uh, so what you will find now, more than getting people to talk about reform, are the ways in which the process is still hoodwinked and cajoled to mass reform. Yeah. And so in that respect, I am so glad that all of you are here today and uh, the critique uh, that you've waged fearlessly and tirelessly, even against this recent budget process, which we acknowledge that we could do better. And I don't remember the last time you heard an executive branch acknowledge it was something that we could do better. And And so uh, I just want to thank you for all that you've done. There are so many people in this state who will never know the names or the faces of people who have turned this government upside down and are now waging a fight to bring really full quality of effort to public service in this state. Thank you very much.